1.7 million houses going into foreclosure? Selling your home isn't as hard as it may seem. Would you call Brian Crawford at the New Mexico Dream House Team? Welcome to our segment called Mythbusters. Today we're going to bust a myth for you. You see this all over the news and you see it in the blogosphere right now and you see it on Facebook and uneducated people or, or intentionally trying to mislead you kind of post are saying that we're gonna have 1.7 million new foreclosures hit the market within the next 120 days. Now, I wanna correct this a little bit. There, there are expected, there's a, there's a mandatory forbearance by the federal government where if you're struggling to get your payments done, you can apply for a forbearance. That forbearance means that your payments are suspended for a period of time. That doesn't mean they go away entirely. It means at the end of that, you are required to catch up on your payments. Now, the federal government hasn't given real clear guidelines on how we're going to exit this forbearance, but they're working on it. In the month of September 2021, more than likely, we will see about 1.7 million people in the United States come out of a forbearance process. What does that mean for you? Well, if you're in forbearance, it means you better catch up on those payments because they could potentially go into foreclosure. What's being discussed currently is, is typically what happens after you exit a forbearance. If you haven't paid your payments in 120 days, the bank can initiate the foreclosure process. That foreclosure process will start 120 days post forbearance. So now that that mandatory forbearance that they've been required by the federal government to, to extend to you is going away, they can begin to file those forbearance paperwork. Now, that means September, October, November, December, likely December 31st, these, these foreclosure processes will start. Now, the federal government has a few proposals in place. One of them is simply to tack the, the forbearance payments to the end of your note and require you to start paying your regular monthly payment again. This is probably going to happen. That's just my guess. I don't know, I, I'm not a lobbyist. I'm not talking to congressmen or, or senators about this directly, but this is, this is my guess is what's gonna happen. The other thing that they're going to do and they're proposing, and in today's political climate, my guess is that this is going to happen as well, is that they're going to hold off foreclosures uh, by until middle of next year. That'll give six months for banks and the federal government and the individuals to work in conjunction with one another to figure out how we're going to come up with payments. Because the majority of these 1.7 million people in forbearance programs in the nation right now, the majority of them have been missing payments for over a year. Now, what does this mean for the housing market? 1.7 million houses is going to crash the housing market is what everybody wants you to hear. That's not actually going to happen. Right now in the US right now, according to statistics that, uh, that are very reliable, we are 3.9 million houses short of being able to house everybody in the US. We have a housing crisis and that crisis isn't oversupply, it's undersupply. New construction has, has slowed to a crawl because of, because of material costs. So at the end of the day, I don't think this means a whole lot for the housing market. I think we're going to continue to see a lot of strength uh, in the market. We're going to see low days on market, high average sales price, and multiple offers. And we're going to see that for a while. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Hopefully this video ages well. Thanks for watching. That's what's going on. I don't know. I know it's not a lot of dead hard facts, but we'll bring you those facts as they unroll. Thanks for watching.